Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and this is, well, future Lori. I'm editing and I just realized I didn't do an intro. So today's Monday Keto video, we're gonna have Christmas cookies. I'm making peanut butter with chocolate chips, uh, pecan sandy, and I'm also making um, shortbread, no, gingerbread cookies. All right, so we're going to go through that, and then I took you with me to Costco, and I showed you the things in store that I would buy on a keto diet. Well, some of the things, not everything, but some of the things I saw. All right, guys, have a good one. All right, friends, the first cookie I'm going to make is a quick and easy peanut butter cookie, but I'm going to add something special to it because it's Christmas. I'm going to add a few chocolate chips. Um, this peanut butter I get from Costco. I use the all natural, so no sugar added. The only ingredients in it is peanuts and salt. No sugar, no other oils. Sorry, I had to get my chocolate chips. It calls for one egg. And if you ever wanted to know, one egg is about a quarter of a cup. Who knew? And I put four tablespoons of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener in mine because that's how I roll. Right? Right. And this is my awesome little tiny spatula. All right, hang tight. Now, this, these chocolate chips are made by Lily's. They are expensive. One bag, I think, is like $8. So I'm just going to use just a little bit. Maybe less than a quarter of a cup. Maybe a quarter of a cup. It's Christmas. And I store them in a jar. So I don't wholly use one cup. One moment. And by one cup, I mean one bag. I don't use ever use the whole bag because they're so expensive and it just adds more carbs. Now I have my cookie sheet over here. Let's bring up the Nova. And all I do, I have a scooper portion our cookie thingy and I portion them out onto my sheet. These cookies do not really spread. So they can be, you know, three, four across. Um, yeah, they don't, they're not spready cookies. There's no, obviously you just saw what I put in it. There's no flour. It's simply peanut butter, egg, and uh, sweetener. And then these have chocolate chips because it's Christmas. And then I will flatten them out. I'll probably speed this up. Done. Now I put them in a 350 degree oven for 12 minutes. And I let them cool in the pan. Okay, it's been 12 minutes exactly, and they came out. I'll just leave them sit on this pan until they cool, and then I will bag them up, and two of them will come with me for dinner. No, not dinner, to work. 
<laughs> uh, next up, I think we're going to make pecan sandies. Now, guys, we are going to make some keto pecan sandies. Um, this is not my recipe. I got it on Pinterest, but I will share it with you. So the ingredients, three quarters of a cup of almond flour, calls for a quarter of a cup of coconut flour, but I'm using um, oat fiber, so I use less, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder, four tablespoons of butter, melted, um, some sweetener, I use about four tablespoons, that seems to work with my peanut butter cookies, an egg, and some vanilla, and a third of a cup of finely ground pecans. I'm guessing how much that is, because that's what I had. Now, keto cookies don't tend to spread, so I don't think I need to refrigerate this. Uh, but, oh, actually, you know what? I think I will refrigerate it. It's pretty soft. So what I will do is scoop out my cookies like this and put it in the freezer for like 10, 15 minutes. And then when it comes out, I will flatten them down and then we'll bake them. Got the cookies out of the freezer. And what I'm just gonna do is give them a good press. Just with the oven, probably about 12 minutes. And then we'll see what they look like. But while that is happening, we're going to mix up the gingerbread cookies. And this is the last cookies I'm making. Uh, I did the peanut butter. We're going to have um, pecan sandies and now gingerbread. So this is two cups of almond flour, four tablespoons of butter. It calls for a cup of sweetener, but I don't like a lot of sweetener, so I just did three quarters of a cup. Um, this is salt, ginger, clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon. That would be all of your spices that go into gingerbread. And the fun thing here is I can just mix it all together. Vanilla and egg. And then we're going to mix. Okay, and this dough, it, it'll hold together. It's kind of a little bright in here, sorry. Mmm, tastes just like a gingerbread. We're going to wait for that pan to come out. Then I'm going to scoop these out just like the other ones and bake them. And here are my finished cookies. I have some ginger some pecan sandies, and peanut butter with chocolate chip. I think these are going to be perfect for me to have for the holidays. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Bye. The $11.99 charcuterie meat. These are a good option for on-the-go eating. Chicken strips. They have zero carbs. And they are $8.99. These on the go packs are excellent. There's eight packages. And you get salami and cheese, and they are $10.99, which is not bad for a keto on the go. Put them in your fridge. And they're good until March. That's a really good deal. Look at this cheese flight. It has all the cheeses for your charcuterie tray. And it's $19.99, which isn't bad. It's almost two pounds of cheese. Carry Gold is $10.99 for a two pound package. I'm gonna go with the Kirkland salted butter at $9.99. And it is four pounds. So better deal, obviously. 
We prefer the Kerrygold, but that's a little pricey right now. And this is the sweetener I put in my coffee. It is monk fruit and stevia. It's $12.99. 400 packets. This is the peanut butter I purchased. It's all natural. It's just peanuts and a little bit of salt, I believe. So that's it. It's $9.99, but you get two large jars. And my sweetener. This is monk fruit classic, $8.99. And it's 28 ounces, almost a two pound bag. It does not spike my blood sugar at all. And the last thing are my wisps. These are Parmesan cheese wisps. Um, these are $9.79. Not a bad price for them. You get a pretty large bag and I portion them out. All right, we're, it's a zoo in here today. So we are gonna finish up and then I will see you in the car. Alrighty, we're out of Costco. Uh, it's freezing, and this place is a nightmare. I'm not sure what I was thinking coming the weekend before the Christmas weekend, but you know, you do what you gotta do. So I'm just trying to get out of this parking lot. We gotta go to Aldi. Oh, did you see those cheeses? I could just die in that meat and cheese tray, but we won't. Have some coffee, peppermint mocha today, and my coworker brought me this mug. He works at Family Dollar. Um, that I work at at the Schottenstein Center. And what did I get? Oh, so I spent sixty-four dollars and forty-four cents. I purchased the butter, so four pounds of butter was like nine ninety-nine, which isn't bad. I picked up the meat. For my charcuterie tray i'm going to have that on christmas night so the plan is christmas eve day i go to my we'll go to my brother's and his wife and mother-in-law will be there with his daughter sarah and then after we leave there we'll drop my other brother off at his house i'll pick him up on the way and then we will go I'll go to Sarah's house for Christmas Eve because I'm a maiden aunt apparently and I will spend the night with her Christmas Eve her mom and stepdad will come down and her brother and we'll do Christmas Eve and Christmas morning and then um, Christmas afternoon I'll come home because I have to work the day after Christmas so I thought what I would do for my dinner and probably like New Year's Eve because I think I'm dog sitting. I don't go out. Um, and if I do, I'm not out late. But I will make a charcuterie tray for me. So meats says cheeses. I want to get some artichoke hearts. And I want to get some olives. And smaller packages of cheese. I wouldn't be able to eat all that cheese in that big container that I saw. Although, oh, did that not look delicious? Anyway, so I got the meats. And then I got those snackers with the sausage and cheese because I think those would be perfect for me to take when I go work at my part-time job. I can just section them up and grab one and go and that'll be a nice something to eat, especially when I work like weird shift between meals. But we'll do that. I picked up, oh, my sugar, which is the whole reason I went. Um do some holiday baking today. I'm going to bake some keto chops. No, oh, it's my car mix. Some keto um, cookies. And I was almost out of sweetener. So we'll do that. I'm going to make a pork tenderloin wrapped in bacon for lunches this week. And I am going to make um, maybe roasted Brussels sprouts with like a garlic butter sauce. We'll see. But anyway, the portions are too big at Costco for those types of fresh produce, bacon, things like that. So we're going to head to Aldi. I'm going to get a little bit of cheese, stuff of the week, my regular groceries. Although I think I might just need like one cream. I've got eggs. I don't know what I'm going for breakfast yet. I need to figure out breakfast. 
and probably, I don't know, hard-boiled eggs maybe. I only have, well, I need four brec five breakfasts and four lunches this week, so we're having food ordered in. I think I mentioned that. So yeah, I'm on my way to Aldi. I'll try to video in there. I try, got a little bit of footage you've probably already seen at Costco. Was a zoo in there? I don't know what again what I was thinking, but I needed the sugar, so got up and did that. I got gas, and now we're gonna go to Aldi, and then hopefully I don't have to leave again today. I want to do the baking and some cleaning, and then I have a craft video I'll be doing. Hopefully that will be up on Tuesday. All right, let's get home or Aldi. <laughs> 